Ahmed, um, I know you said that one of your big concerns is that fire engineering happens early in the project and you feel that it may be neglected later on. Do you want to tell me a bit more about that? Um, uh, well, uh, just most of the perception at the moment is that the fire safety strategy is only a design document. And, and that's actually a um, uh, shortfall in the appreciation of the, for the meaning of fire safety strategy. A fire safety strategy is a living document that goes all the way from design, even from planning, even mm -hmm. from the time where you put the uh, asset management strategy uh, and that way earlier in the project, going through the design, into the construction, and then into the operational readiness before you get into the operation side. And then once you are into operation side, you need to think about the fire safety strategy as part of the life cycle of the whole development. And there are tools within the regulation at the moment that helps this concept actually to come in place, including the RRO and the fire risk assessment. So the fire risk assessment should envisage or look uh, around in the building for any operational issues that need to be considered. If there is any changes, therefore, that will dictate some um, modification or update to the fire safety strategy. Fire risk assessment and fire safety strategy should go hand in hand as part of the fire uh, assessment of any development. And does that mean then that the uh, fire engineer who's been appointed for the project should carry through the project to the end and into operation? Uh, well, we would. Uh, uh, it would be a good idea to have the same fire engineer as you. Uh, once you have the fire engineer starting with the design stage, there, there will be a, a curve of uh, a learning curve about the projects and all its aspects and how the interfaces took place, which is something very valuable for for the for the fire engineer to to have that interface appreciation between the different disciplines. So it is a very good uh, idea that you have the same fire engineer all the way through the REBA stages to the mm -hmm. uh, kickoff of the operation of the building. And what about when people come in and make fairly minor modifications on the building? Um, I'm not even talking about a sort of total refurbishment when one would hope they would revisit the original documents, but with more minor changes to buildings. Uh, well, uh, you would be surprised even if a minor, what a minor change could actually cause uh, and reflect on the fire safety aspects. No, uh, I wouldn't. Take, a, yeah, to, to take, for instance, the paint. So uh, the fire safety strategy will identify certain classification for the paint to use based on the risk profile and how is the risk being managed mm -hmm. in a certain enclosure. So if you change that type of paint and you're not uh, actually uh, um, meeting the requirements by the fire safety strategy, so you're introducing a much more uh, opportunity for the fire to spread in the same enclosure. So it has to be handled, it has to be looked at and appreciated as part of the risk assessment. And I think the last thing I just wanted to ask you about was passive fire protection. You said that one has to be aware that the lifetime of passive fire protection is not as long as the mm. lifetime of the building and one needs a strategy for that. Well, indeed, we, we should be able to highlight these sort of things, but, but the, the asset management strategy that is developed for any, de uh, produced for any development or building should address uh, most of these things because as part of the asset management strategy and the asset management plan, there is quite a lot of life cycle cost analysis happening that is a, a sum of all the small life cycle costs of the individual component, component of the building. The, the, the pacifier protection is one of those things. When we consider that the pacifier protection life cycle is 20, 25 years, and the building uh, is a lot longer than that. So we have to consider, into, uh, we have to take into consideration as part of any refurbishment work, that this specified protection need to be looked at, and there should be some strategy for how you're going to strip or replace all this specified protection so you can renew it, so you carry on with the same concept for the fire safety strategy because the fire safety strategy took that into consideration as part of the structure of fire resistance to fire. To fire. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you.